Welcome to uh, part three of my uh, tutorial, uh, Practicing Strategy E-Modes. Uh, so today I'm going to do E-Phrygian. So E-Phrygian, the parent scale, is a key of C major. So what might be useful is to, um, if you want to just uh, glance through the notes at the end of the PDF that accompanies these uh, uh, videos. So what, I, what I've been liking to do here is... Uh, not necessarily do all the notes uh, in order, just kind of, uh, you know, just let the the uh, tutorial kind of flow as it will, and then just randomly go uh, between all the different topics. Okay, so I think for today, I'll just start off. So E Phrygian, I'll just go through each of the five uh, patterns. So just to save time, I'll say the note names ascending, but not descending. So open position. Uh, e, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, or G, A, B, uh, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right, so one of the things that I've been emphasizing in these videos, and it's in the notes, is to every so often throw in the low E, so that way you can kind of hear this not as a C major scale, but as an E Phrygian. So right off the bat, I will say that uh, with Phrygian, uh, a lot of times uh, you'll hear that that instead of that uh, that three chord being minor, sometimes it'll be major. So I'll, I'll I'll kind of probably freely go in between this. Sometimes I'll play, you know, uh, like a minor chord, e, and then I'll have my four chord F and G. Sometimes to minor, sometimes to major and then sometimes to just the power chord. And then I might take some liberties with uh, with those four and five chords. Sometimes I'll play the four as major seven, and then sometimes I'll play the G as six, and so on. Okay, um, okay so let's go on to the next one, uh, starting G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Backwards. And then if you did like kind of a three note per string scale here, uh, so like at the end. Sometimes you'll see that in certain uh, scale systems, they'll, they'll have this. So if, it, if, I'm, if I'm in parent key C major, so you would call this kind of mixolydian to go along with the G7 chord. And then sometimes you'll see this note added, added to that, that position. All right, uh, let's go on to the next position, uh, starting with A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So you notice how much different that sounds with the low E as opposed to like if I just played C to C here. It sounds like the parent scale, which is C major. Or if I played from A, it would sound like A minor. So just something to think about. So as you're, uh, you know, playing through this and, and listening to this and, and working through some of these materials and looking at the PDF, certainly uh, exploring uh, the various modes of, of the key of C would also be a good thing to do um, along with what I'm presenting here, which is everything in terms of the E's. Okay. Okay. So for that matter, along with the low, the low E, you could also throw in the high E too occasionally, like, like they, they do like us, like Spanish, Spanish things they'll do uh, like or two notes um, or three notes 
notes. All right, so how about uh, we'll go on to um, next uh, p position. This is the five caged positions, or I, I sometimes refer to them as the classic positions. Uh, so B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Backwards. just do a little digression here so I'm gonna just pull out these uh, this next two uh, three note per string scales so B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E All right, so that's a nice that's kind of a nice scale to do for this because if you start from here if you go from E and then instead of landing on the B if you land on the E that's a that's a nice run to do for E Phrygian. three note per string scale. So I, I refer to these as symmetrical patterns. So what I mean by that is every two strings has the same fingering. So so that uh, uh, scale starting from B has that feature and then also if you start from C. So I'll do three note per string scale here starting from the C note, C, D, E, F, G, A, uh, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Backwards. Okay, so then if I did the same thing I did before, once I get to here, I just kind of slide into that, you know, see what that sounds like. Okay, so that was, let's see, that's that position. Let's go to, to the one starting from uh, D. So still a parent, K, uh, pa parent scale, key of C. So uh, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Backwards. So then there's all, all these different things. I, I, I know one of the things I've talked about in, in, in uh, some of my different videos and, and teaching is this idea of taking notes and doing uh, uh, mathematical permutations. So for example here, so if we took every three notes, so it's three times two times one, so three factorial. So there's uh, three di uh, six different uh, possible ways that those three notes can be played. So you can go... Uh, So that's that's a really interesting way of of taking you know what would normally just be you know just running up and down the scale, but if you took some of these permutations, it would make it sound a little bit more interesting. So if you, let's say you did outer, and then you took that permutation, ran it down the scale, it might sound kind of interesting over this. So. So, so there, you'd probably you probably want to change that at the end, uh, and then maybe go uh, mm -hmm, something like that. Or another, I'm going a little bit off on a tangent here. The other thing is 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 to you know uh, take each two strings and do the same um, notes uh, note set. On, on two sets of strings. So let's say you like, let's say, let's just pretend like you really like this sound. Okay, so then you can take that same thing and then it repeats three different, uh, two different times, three, three times total. All right, and then if you just, 
want to let that low E ring, then you can maybe just stop on the fifth string or the fourth string. And then maybe do the same thing here. There's that E power chord. All right, so now let's go to the 12th uh, position. So some people would say, well, that's E Phrygian. And I would just say that, yes, it's E Phrygian if you're calling E the root. Right, but that could also be C major. Or it could be G um, mixolydian. All right, so it's only E, it's, this, is, this position is only E Phrygian if you're saying that E is your, is your root. Okay, so... Um, uh, e F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G backwards. So then you have so all those notes there are all are, are all part of E minor pentatonic. And then I'll, I'll also throw in the concept of the uh, three note per string scales where you have a doubling. So. B and then right, so for triplets okay I'm gonna just gonna do a little bit of a tangent here because I there's like a kind of a favorite scale pattern that I like here so this would be E Phrygian dominant so this this works out pretty well well here so all you're gonna do here instead of playing G's you're going to play the G sharps, okay? So what what this what this is coming from? I don't want to get into a whole big uh, theory tangent. A B C D E. So if you had A natural minor, A B C D E. So one two three four five. Okay, so natural minor starting from here. So if you made that harmonic minor, A B C D E F G sharp A. So then the fifth mode of A harmonic minor is this uh, Phrygian dominant, um, I guess a, a, a e, a e Phrygian dominant. There's, okay, I think people call it different things. Major, major, okay, I'll, I'll just call it Phrygian dominant. Okay, so, so now we have this. I'll, I'll just spell out these notes here. So I'll, I'll go from this direction. So G sharp, E, F, G sharp. Okay, this, notes, this string's the same. B, C, D. Okay, now what's going to happen here, rather than playing this, I'm going to play G sharp. G sharp, A, B. And these two strings are the same. D, E, F, uh, A, B, C. And this one changes. E, F, G sharp. Also have that kind of Phrygian dominant because you have that E7 chord there. there okay and then it, the um, the patterns would just repeat so then this pattern here so starting from G would be the same thing there all right so let's go how about next I'll go to just playing up and down on one string so this works pretty well here so um, I've done this with the other um, videos previously the E Ionian and the E Dorian so you have uh, uh, I'll go one string at a time E F G A B C D, E, F, G, A. So on these diagrams, I've only gone up to the, the A notes in most of these modes, and I'll do one more B. Okay, back down the scale. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'll, I'll do some three, uh, three note sequence.
lots of things you can do. Okay, a second string, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. All right, that sounds good. So you have the, so this string, you have the root and the fifth of the, uh, so you have essentially a power chord. So, so that's sort of an interesting way of playing this Phrygian sound. Also, not playing either major or, or, or minor, just kind of play a power chord. So a little bit further, B, C, D, E. And I'll play one more note here, F. Okay, so I'll do this kind of th uh, the sequence here of these, of these three note pads, one, two, three, four, five. another little tangent here so I'm, I'm big on, in, into these symmetrical patterns just a way of, of organizing the fretboard so if you started from the G which is the fifth of the parent scale you have these kind of convenient kind of note uh, fingering sc uh, scale ladder so G A B C D E okay so there's that pattern then then right next to it is this A B C D E F so depending on your context, so if you're playing, say, over an A minor chord, you might do that. Okay, you might land on the, around those A notes. Okay. okay, next one, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that word, that's really, works really useful. So there's that same concept I was talking about before, kind of uh, not necessarily always going in, you know, descending or ascending, but but kind of emphasizing different notes within each uh, uh, pattern. Okay, and then what what happens here is when you start on the G, you have this kind of stretch pattern, uh, and then here it's the same thing: C D E F G A. So then you have this kind of very convenient kind of thing where either side is the same fingering. And then in the middle you have this kind of interlocking pattern. there it changes so I don't want to get off too much of a, a tangent there so uh, there's a lot of different ways you can look at that I, I mean you, you can kind of break that down um, and maybe I will just talk about this a little bit more so I'm going to take these two patterns here and show you how it's you can call that a hexatonic scale so within that hexatonic scale are uh, major and minor pentatonics from the key and that's one of the other points I talk about on, on my notes uh, two three and six are minor pentatonics from the parent key of C and then four five and one are the major pentatonics from the key of C so if you take this G A B so you have uh, two uh, two minor and two majors so G A B D E E minor pentatonic That's also G major pentatonic. Okay, then if you take these notes, G, A, C, D, E, that's A minor pentatonic. And it's also C major pentatonic. So, so that, that, um, that hexatonic scale is really, really interesting to use. Uh, I think probably what happens for a lot of young players as they're s s first learning these, they probably accidentally kind of land on that note and they think, well, that sounds really good. And then they have no idea what they're doing. So, so that's where the music theory helps. It helps you to kind of understand what you're doing because if you're just accidentally landing on stuff, you might not be able to duplicate it unless you can analyze it or unless you can go back and listen to your recording. So, if, so for example, here, let's say I'm on an A minor chord. Let's say I, I accidentally slide it, slid up to the B. Would still sound good on, on an A minor chord.
Okay, and let me go off on this tangent here. Uh, C, D, E. Okay, so here you have C, D, E, G, A, A minor pentatonic, which is also C major pentatonic. And then if you come here, C, D, D minor pentatonic is also F major pentatonic. I think that's all I'll talk about right there. Um, let's see. I was on let's see one string. Okay, let me do maybe an, uh, this string up and down. Uh, so G A B C D E F G A B C backwards. So depending on how you hear that, you might be hearing that as kind of. A G bass. Uh, and then it would sound kind of more uh, mixolydian. Okay. And let's do one more string and then maybe I'll do like a little jam here uh, based in uh, back to E Phrygian. So D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Backwards. obviously a lot of different things you can do there with these letting these open strings kind of kind of ring out all right so I think what I'll do next is um, maybe I'll, I will do some things with the octaves so how about I'll do um, okay so so I talked about doing doing octave shapes on on the various string groups mostly I've been kind of defaulting to to four two and Three one mostly because I, I I've been throwing in this low low E. Okay, so let me also bring in the concept now of so the the idea the the Frank and Bali idea where if you're playing a different a mode, you use the four and five of the parent scale to kind of define that the sound of that mode. Arpeggio. Okay, then F major arpeggio, F A C, G major, F. Okay, maybe I'll just do a little riff, uh, just to kind of do a little bit of an imp improv, improv around that E. about next um, I'll, I'll talk about these uh, the minor pentatonics 
So I think in my last video, I think I, I forgot to do one of the pentatonics. So I think the easiest way to, to not forget is I'll do the, the, the blues box and each of the two uh, extension patterns all at the same time. And then I'll, I'll keep everything the same. So uh, let's see, your two chord is going to be your D minor, D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, uh, D, F. So you remember that one is D major, but it's also F major. So if you're playing over this Phrygian sound, then when you go to the F, you can use that, that F major pentatonic. Or you, or you can use that... Uh, that, that's sometimes a better place to land for major. Okay, so I just did that. That's the box, D minor, F major. So I'll do the extension that's coming off of the, the, the two uh, extensions coming off of that box. So C, D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A. All right, so it's important to realize that those are both, that's both minor, My E Ionian, I talked about this uh, Wind Cries Mary lick. So I have C and F, uh, hammer on the D, and then I have G and C, hammer on the A. All right, so let me go on to now the three minor pentatonic E minor, which is also G major. Uh, so uh, note names E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G. So E minor. Blues note. Oh, I guess I forgot to do the, this uh, extension pattern from F here. So I'll, I'll start it here. F G. This is back to the D minor F major. F G A C D F G A C D. I'm getting off the pat the the diagram a little bit. Uh, F G A C D F G A C D F G A. Right. That's for the that's for the F major. I forgot to do that one. Okay. So now we're back to E minor. So D E G uh, G A B uh, D E G A B D E G A B a little bit off the off the pattern, and then um, you also have it here D E G A B D E G A B. Okay, and then you also have it starting from here. This is going a little bit off the off the diagram G A B D E or down here G A B D E G A B D E. G A B D E. Um, so G major. Okay, I think what I'll do next here is I think I might do like a little improv. I'll, I'll, I'll go from the F to the G to the F. So for the F chord, I'll use the F major pentatonic. For the G chord, I'll use the. And then when I go to when I get when I end up on this E this E5, uh, I'll use uh, some kind of I'll use some one of these patterns. One of my favorite devices to use here. This is kind of something I I think I picked up off of, off of a John John McLaughlin Mahavishnu. Uh, I think he does something like this. So if I'm on my E chord, I'm in Phrygian. I'll do a run B C E F and then the same thing here B C E F B C E F over that E chord. And, and, and the beauty of that run that works over E5. It works over E minor. 
It also works over that major chord. Okay, let's just see what happens here. I'm just going to do a kind of a, a light improvisation here. So I did, so that one, okay, and then I'll, let me also do the A minor, uh, C major pentatonic. So A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, backwards. All right, that's going to be A minor, and then also C major. So when I'm presenting these two, three, six uh, minors, and then four... Uh, four, five, one majors. Uh, just keep in mind that these, this is, these, these are just raw concepts. So they're, they're not necessarily meant that everything is going to work perfectly with each mode. You, you have to kind of experiment a little bit or, or use some theoretical knowledge. So for example, this A minor pentatonic has a lot of good notes for that at the F major seven chord. So if I was doing like say G, I'm using major there. So I'm on my G chord. All right, so I'm just using this the, the, the pentatonic. So here, uh, the, the scale. So here, I could use uh, A minor pentatonic over that F major 7 chord. be a good usage of that of that a minor uh, let's see uh, so let's see uh, extension pattern so based off the a g a c d e g a c d e g a c d e okay and then based off of the c node c d e g a c d e g a c d e g a So that would be a good usage uh, usage of that. So the two, two, three, six minor, and then four, five, um, one major. Okay, I think, uh, I guess I've, I've talked enough about, about different things. I, I guess maybe I could do a little bit with some chord tones here. So if I'm on a, like an F, F, G, I guess I'll, just to make it easier for me, so I'm using all the same shapes, I'll use F, G, F, and then I'll use E major. Okay, so here's a kind of a convenient shape here. So you can think of that, that's a F, F major to a G major triad. Or you can also think of it as being part of this, this pentatonic box. Okay, and then the, the device 
sprites I'll use here, I'll kind of use that uh, fr that kind of Phrygian dominant sound, B, C, E, F, G sharp. So I'm just embellishing each of the uh, chord tones by one half step. B, C, E, F. So I'll use that, that device. Okay, and then uh, I'll just do a little bit of an extended arpeggio here. Uh, C, F, A, C, F. I guess I'll keep on going here. A, A, F. Okay, that's a big arpeggio. F, A, C, F, A, C, F. And then for the G chord, G, B, D, F, uh, D, G, B. F. And I guess I can do the same thing for the E here. E, G sharp, B, D, G sharp, B. Okay, so I'll just do a little bit of an improvisation around that. So I think I've made all the, the basic points I wanted to for today. Uh, Phrygian's kind of a fun, uh, fun scale to, to play over. So either as a major, minor, or um, or some kind of power chord. So let's see what happens here. So. Thank you. 